Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to connect to a Windows 11 home computer using remote desktop. This will also work for Windows 10. So you probably know that Windows Home Edition doesn't support remote desktop connections. And you could try and get around it by using something like TeamViewer or some other third-party software. But you have to have that going on both computers. But if you just want to use the standard RDP protocol, then there's another program you could use called Thin Stuff Remote Desktop Host Manager here. And I'll show you how that works. So first, let's go prove that we're on a Windows Home computer here. Okay, so Windows 11 Home. And then if we go to Remote Desktop Settings, you'll see Home Edition of Windows 11 doesn't support Remote Desktop. Okay, so that's that. So once you install the software and reboot, you'll get a 14-day trial. Then after that, you're going to have to pay for it to keep using it. And there's different additions. So depending on your needs will be how much you need to pay. But if you really need to connect to a, a Windows Home computer, you might want to try it out. Uh, there's another method called RDP Wrapper if you want to check that out. I've got it to work on Windows 10, but on Windows 11 I couldn't get it to work. It's kind of buggy and you got to do a bunch of tweaking to get it to really work. So this is a lot easier, except obviously it's not free. Okay, so once you install the software here, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you need to reboot and then you can run it if you need to change any settings. So if you go to Actions and Preferences, you know, you have your typical actions like if you want to um, only allow connections using network level authentication, prompting for password, all these different device and audio settings if you want to redirect your audio and printers to the remote desktop connections, color depth, if you want to improve or make it, you know, if you have a slow connection, you can lower the color depth, so on. Timeout limits, if you need to do that, and remote effects, that's a that's a feature of this program. I'm not sure exactly what it does because I haven't tried it. So we got that. Okay, so let's test it out. Before we begin here, let's do a command prompt and see what the IP address of this computer is. Okay, we got 192.168.13.130. So that's what we're going to connect to. So now we're going to go over to a different computer and open the RDP client and try and connect to this home computer. Okay, so now we're on a different computer here, so let's open up the remote desktop client here. And that's our address that we need to connect to. And we'll go ahead and click on connect. And now it's trying to use the account from this password, so I could use a different account if I want to use the computer the account that's already logged in. And then you get the typical message here about uh, certificates. So you could you know, check this box if you don't want to see it like normal. Okay, so now we get this uh, message here again because we're connecting using the unlicensed software version here. So now you can see we're on the Windows home computer using our remote desktop connection. And... Just to prove it to you, Windows 11 Home. So simple as that. So let's go to the uh, website while we got this open here. So here's the options here. They have three different ones, professional, standard, and light. So if you're just using it for a home computer, not on a domain, you could probably get away with the light connection. Uh, one, one connection at a time, 39 bucks. You know, then they have different, you know, up to unlimited connections. And then different support options. If you want the standard, you get a year of support. You get and updates, enhanced compatibility. You can read more about it. And, of course, the professional, you know, super expensive. Um, but, of course, you get two years of supports and updates and probably a bunch of other things as well. And here's what, what operating systems it works with. You know, it doesn't say Windows 10, maybe they haven't changed, I mean, it doesn't say Windows 11, so maybe they haven't changed their website, but we know it works with Windows 11 since we just did it. So anyways, like I said, I'll put a link in the description, you could try it out, and if you really need a remote desktop connection, then you can give it a shot and pay the 40 bucks and be connecting. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>